Hi guys and welcome to TechBased. In this video, we're going to talk about the latest Windows 11 Insider preview build for the Better Channel, which is the build 22635.2771. This build for the Better Channel has some nice news because we have some news related to the Moment 5 update, which could come somewhere in February. So in this video, we're going to cover all that and also everything that is new in this latest Windows 11 Insider preview build for the Better Channel. If you enjoy videos like these, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to TechBased channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this. One. So let's begin with the video. So related to the Movement 5 update, you need to know that the features that will be included in the Movement 5 update are the feature that require this toggle to be on. So get the latest updates as soon as they're available. Be among the first to get the latest non-security updates, fixes, and improvements as they roll out. You turn this on, you will receive some extra updates that Microsoft is planning to release in the Movement 5 update. In the official blog post from Microsoft, Microsoft will now tell us what features are requiring the toggle to be on. And those features are the features that will be part of the Movement 5 update for Windows 11. 23H2 most likely. So the following features that I'm going to talk about are requiring the toggle to be on, so they will be part of the Movement 5 update. First of all, Microsoft is adding natural voices previews in Narrator with Chinese, Spanish from Spain, Spanish from Mexico, Japanese, English from UK, French, Portuguese, English from India, German, and Korean. Along with that, they are adding enhanced image consumption experience in Narrator, and also in Microsoft Word, Narrator will now announce the presence of a draft comment, a resolved comment, a bookmark, or the availability of accessibility suggestions when reading text in the document. These are all features related to the Narrator app, so if you want to learn more info about that, you can check out the article below in the video's description. Related to Windows Share, Microsoft significantly improved nearby share transfer speed for users on the same network. Before these changes, users had to be on the same private network, but now users just have to be on the same network, which could be public or private, you can quickly turn on nearby share via quick settings and simply right-click on a local file in File Explorer, choose Share, and choose to share to a device listed under the nearby share in the Windows Share window. Now the Windows Share window will only show apps under Share Using that are tied to the account you are signed in into Windows with, either Microsoft account or Microsoft Intro ID. If you are signed in with a Microsoft account, you will see Microsoft Teams free instead of Microsoft Teams Work or School, and not both, for example. If you are signed in with a Microsoft Intro ID, your Microsoft Teams Work or School contacts will appear in the Windows Share window to quickly share too. And also, if you turn on nearby sharing via Quick Settings or directly in Settings, and you have Wi-Fi and Bluetooth off, it will turn Wi-Fi and Bluetooth on, so nearby sharing will work as expected. If you turn a Wi-Fi or Bluetooth off, it will also turn off nearby sharing. Now we're talking about some changes and improvement that are gradually being rolled out to everyone in the beta channel and related to Copilot in Windows, Microsoft is beginning to roll out the ability to use Copilot in Windows with Alt plus tab. Using the Alt plus tab hotkey now displays the thumbnail preview for Copilot in Windows, among the other thumbnail previews of Open Windows, which you can switch between pressing tab. This change does not change the Alt plus tab experience in Windows 11, Copilot only shows in Alt plus tab if Copilot is invoked from the taskbar. And we also have a snipping tool update. Microsoft is beginning to roll out this update in the beta channel, improving HDR display support, screenshots and screen recording on displays with HDR enabled should be able to better display colors. Of course, you can get this update by going to the Microsoft Store library and then check for all the updates. Now talking about fixes that are gradually being rolled out to beta channel that have the toggle on. So moment 5 update, keep that in mind. We have a lot of fixes for the narrator app, I'm not gonna mention them, you can check that out in the article below. We have some fixes related to magnifier, they fix a niche in magnifier set settings page where the text below voice speed slider was not following the color contrast guidelines. Related to the settings app, they fixed an issue where home was unexpectedly showing some users that there was NAN% percent storage left. And also regarding the share window, Microsoft fixed an issue which was causing the share window to crash for some insiders recently. Now let's mention also some fixes that are being rolled out to everyone in the beta channel, so you won't need the toggle on for this one. Microsoft fixed the issue that was causing snipping tool to crash when taking a capture on ARM devices. This update addresses an issue that stops File Explorer from opening, and also they fixed an issue issue where settings so might show a prompt to sign into your Microsoft account and fail to sign in if you try to use it even though settings itself showed you were already signed in. So basically this is all there is to the beta channel in this build. Don't forget if you have the toggle on you will receive Moment 5 features earlier and the features that require that toggle will be the Moment 5 update features. If you enjoyed this video please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was Emmanuel from TechBase until next time have a nice day.